Do you know how we can see that the world has been changed with lies, deception, subterfuging, bamboozling, hoodwinking, and now everybody is suffering. Then you sugarcoat all the matters. Then you make commissions and then you proclaim yourself, oh, we were the one who did it. I know you what point I am making a referring here, people know. And the whole world got rid of it. Killing innocent people. And at the end enjoying aristocracy. Nobody's here to catch wasps, white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, along with the Zionist Jews, Theodore Hurls, did all these things. You know, even today, if you go to Israel, there are some Orthodox Jews, they do not accept the initiatives of Theodore Hurls. The Zionist political movement in 1800 lost the protocols of the elders of the Zion. Zion is the mount, mountain in Palestine, Jerusalem. In the middle, there is Doom of the Rock, Sakhartul Kubra, Kubrat Sakhra. And on the right side, lower, there is Masjidul Aqsa, Masjidul Aqsa, the Mosque of Aqsa. And on the other side, there is a wailing wall. This wall is the broken remnant of the second temple of Solomon. Peace be upon him. You see, if you read the Bible, two times the temple was destroyed. First time by Nebuchadnezzar or Nebuchadnezzar. The king of Babylonia, Iraq, came with a fierce force and destroyed the temple. The first temple, the house, the worshipping house for the Jews, which were Muslims, because Sulaiman was Muslim, not a Jew. Judaism, not a word you find in the Bible anywhere. Moses said, my religion was Judaism. Concoction of these terminologies, concoction of these uh, morphemes, concoction of these morphologies. So, Sulaiman made the temple with the help of jinn, this is the creation of God. This temple was destroyed because of the propensities of these Jews not obeying God Almighty. God gave them the hammer. By these people, Nebuchadnezzar destroyed the first temple and gone. After that, it was revived by Uzair alayhi salam, Izra. And he brought those whole parchment of Jews, this Old Testament in one day. So they call him the son of God. Israel is the son of God, one of the sects of Jews. Then God gave another hammer, but that hammer came so later when they insinuated the one of the mightiest messengers of God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Isa ibn Maryam, the son of Mary. Peace be upon him. So Uzair alayhi salam Isra revived and he made that, uh, you know, brought this uh, spiritual stuff. And then Zulqarnan, the man with the two horns, the Cyrus, Cyrus the Great, who joined Mesopotamia, with the help of his people and the army, he brought Jews back and destroyed those Akkadians kingdom by Nebuchadnezzar, Iraqi Babylonian king. And then he brought that new uh, empire by the name of Maccabees. There is a Bible, there is a book in the Bible, the book of Maccabees. And then again, the Jews again started those all kind of propensities with, where all the prophets of God threw on their faces. Jesus Christ said, before Jesus, Moses said, you are stiff neck people. Since I liberated you from Pharaoh's bondage, Jesus said, you kill prophets from righteous Abel to Zechariah, the son of Bacharias. The blood of the prophets will be upon your shoulders, O Jews, on the day of judgment. What kind of people are these? What kind of inferiority? You're inferior. You know, the level of extremity these people were having, that the time of their prophets are cursing them. So, somehow they repented and this Cyrus the Great helped them to revive and make the second temple. 
Then after many years gone, 70 AD, after they tried to kill Jesus Christ, which Allah says according to Islam, he was saved and Allah took him up alive. A-L-I-V-E, which you find all along after the alleged crucifixion in the four gospels that Mary Magdalene saw Jesus and he was alive. The other from the disciple from the Amos, they saw Jesus was alive, alive, alive. And you say resurrected, 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 where there is no word resurrected used ever. Once for Jesus Christ after the alleged crucifixion. Alive. So God took him up alive. This is not the topic right now. So whatever Jews thought who killed, that's not our business. According to Jewish concept, they think that we killed Jesus Christ. They got rid of that imposter inverted commas and they are waiting for the real mashiach which will be the jal antichrist this is not even the subject to and prophet muhammad sallam said isa ibn wari maryam was the right christ quran testified that christians took out of religion from this uh, incident they got it redemption jews got it riddance islam says the optimal solution neither he was killed nor crucified but it was made to appear to them so you have no certain knowledge for yaqeenan they killed him not this is the verdict of quran chapter 4 verse 157 so god took him so after jesus ascension alive according to islam 70 AD, roman emperor by the name of titus he killed all the Jews. He massacred them. In the large Mac 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 Macabre, it was a big massacre in Macabre and killed them. Their diaspora started. They said historians, 600,000 Jews were killed in one day or maybe 100,000 around that figure. And he killed, uh, sorry, he destroyed the second temple where you see now there is a wailing wall there that is the remnant and the leftover of Heckles Sulemania, the temple of Solomon on Mount Zion where the Zionism came and then in the middle Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu came 600 years he did Mi'raj the heavenly ascension and that thing in the middle Walid Ibn Marwan the one of the rulers of Bani Umayyah, he made doom on the top, doom of the rock, where Prophet ascended to heaven the night of Al-Isra or Mi'raj, the heavenly journey. So this is the point here, that is why it is holy for us. And Masjid Al-Aqsa was the Masjid made by Sulaiman, which Jews can call them synagogues, whatever they want. Because Allah says in the Quran, you call churches or synagogue or masjid or mosques. If there is a, the worshipping is in the right way, then all will be accepted. You don't need to say masjid, it's okay. But if you worship their donkey, monkey, pigs, then there is a problem. You worship God with true spirit, no body shape size and proportion or figments so titus destroyed and killed many jews and they had to flee to different part of the world and muslims accepted they came into khyber medina arab jews yemeni jews and rest of the europe poland R russia on and on this they call it diaspora before they did exodus after Pharaoh from Moses, then they got another migration, they call it diaspora, where they were living in ghettos, they were not having anything, slums in the poor areas, poor parts, the life of misery. And they did it, they suffered. Every Easter, these Christians killed them, burned them, or put them on the stakes, burned their books, and they said, Christ killers. These people kill our God, inverted commas. And Muslims gave them shelters. Even Muslims gave them this much prerogative that one of these leaders, these governors were Jews at the time of Hispania, Spain. Muslims ruled Spain for 700 years. And this is what latitude they gave to them. And now they turn the tables and attacking us. And the people who 
kill them on every Easter day. Now they are with them, these Protestant wasps, because they are the influenced fruit and cultivated plants or production or harvest harvestation of Martin Luther and Kelvin. Jewish concept, Protestantism came, Church of Anglican England came, cut the ties with Pope, and we want to change the books, remove those six books out of one of those book of Maccabees, and they created their own way. Scientific knowledge came into existence. Bible was translated into from Greek into Latin, Hebrew into Latin, the Latin into Greek in English, under the majesty of King James in 1611. And then people came to realize there are grave defects in the Bible. Because at the time of Pope, people were not into an access of the Bible. Anyone reading Bible or scientific knowledge, kill them, burn them. I'm exaggerating maybe, but there was really severe punishment. So these the scientific knowledge was also this had it not been for people to buy caught with Pope, break, break the taqlid, there wouldn't have been any scientific revolution or renaissance or reformation in Christendom or in Europe, I rather say. So Jews are came, then after all these prolonged years after that Jesus Christ, alayhi salam, Prophet Muhammad sallam, came into Arabia. 325 AD, another thing happened, Constantine from Antioch, he converted into Christian into Trinitarian formula and there has persecuted all the people by the deity of Christ, by the show of hands, political hands like democracy, theocracy, Demotheocracy and they anointed Jesus as the part of the Trinity, they anointed Jesus as God. And rest of the all people, Unitarians and the early Orthodox were ruined. So that is why when Prophet came, all of the Europe was Trinitarian, rather Unitarians. So Prophet came, these Jews, they were you know, they give Prophet a very hard time. I don't want to go into detail what did they do with their own people first, like how they split Christianity from the sect of Jews. Then again, they split again Christianity into two more Roman Catholicism into Protestantism. And then when Islam came, how they split Sunni and Shia. And then Islam came, how they split, you know, these things. Four types of enemies were there with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam continuously since he proclaimed his prophethood. Proclaimed means that since he told to the people, since he told to the people that I am prophet, tells to the people. You see, Kuffar in Makkah, disbelievers of Makkah, fierce enemies, worse enemies. Then uh, Jews and Christians. Then Munafiq in Medina, the hypocrites of Medina. Four kind of groups were continuously disturbing Prophet Muhammad in his entire missionary work. And they act like innocent cherubims. More than 50,000 books have been written against the stature of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who has been revered by more than 1.8 billion people around the world. They break and they destroy their sentiments, like in Stockholm, in Sweden. They are doing this burning of the Quran and they are playing with our sentiments and they want us to be bold like them, like the South Park cartoons. They said Jesus was bastard. They want us to do the same thing. This will not work with us. We love our Nabi and we love more than our deaths, more than our lives. So don't take a chance on Muslims. Don't test our faith. Don't test us. Don't just let us, you know, don't spark or don't you know ignite rather I said don't ignite the spark which is in the hearts of the Muslims coal our burning our fire our fuel is burning in a low uh, you know uh, frequency or wo a low velocity so don't make us you know rise our speed so after that Muslims embrace them in Spain okay fine you can come with us how did they do this and now, I just read news now, two days back, Benjamin Netanyahu may be coming back again. And they are expanding to the West Bank. They want to make 18,000 more units. 
and they want to kick those Palestine, Palestinians out or they want to you know, do some settle them or register themselves in the Israeli government area that we will watch you, monitor you and you just be slaves. And this is what Prophet Sallallahu says that this is the time which is near where the Dajjal is going to arrive. Everything has been taken away from Jerusalem. It became the capital of Israel now. Before it was the capital of Palestine. And now things are getting changed there day by day. Recently, one of the guy, he went to Masjid Al-Aqsa, one of their representatives, whole of the world reacted. And I appreciate that. You know, these, these people are checking. There is something going on. There is something going on. There is something microanalysis going on from the dictation of their Dajjal. And they want to make sure that everything is okay before he really comes. So they want to expand. You see, you need to understand the nature. If you believe in the concept that you are a superior racial race, superior divine race, then what else remains, you know? The creator is giving you privilege to kill his own creation by one of the groups of the people. Now what remains left? What prerogatives left for Palestinian people? What prerogatives or what destination left for Muslims by the hands of Jews? If every Jew is, is, is understanding that he is entitled to kill any Muslim or any people and there is no trial for him or her on the day of judgment, the most important day of every religious person. So this is the mentality which I'm educating you. This is the historical aspect. They did not forgive their prophets who you are and me. Who are the Gentiles? You have no worth. You are just piece of nothing. Smithereens. You are nothing. Speck out of speck for them. And you watch their documentaries, you watch their videos. The sermons of these Jews where these elders are, you know, saying these rabbis. Look at their haze. They are living in their own world. Okay, this Messiah is coming anytime. Anytime is coming. And they are preparing all this stuff as, as something like they are getting direction or direct you know commands from this Dajjal I don't know from where it seems like something is going on the way they are talking with you know this cocksureness or with a certainty you can sense something is fishy something is not right with them and the way they are proclaiming and the way they are saying that this is ours this is ours and nobody is coming to attack you know this is a time that's what Prophet says the time will come, even the stone will cry. The Jew is hiding behind him, sorry, behind me. So get him, get him, oh Abdullah, oh the servant of Allah, get him. Even the stones will cry. You see, there is a tree by the name of Gharqad, Oxythoron. And that tree grows widely, not in a tall direction, it goes wide direction. So rabbits and all these, you know, small animals, they hide themselves from the predators so this is the seed which every jew is bowing a brewing under his you know these lands or their lawns they are doing it because they say that this nabi muhammad وسلم, they believe in him they believe him allah says oh muhammad وسلم, jews have known you more than their own sons jews have known you more than their own sons but they don't want to believe in you because they have the altercation they have this uh, you know contradiction or what you call agitation with archangel gabriel that why jibreel alayhi salam went to one of the arabs no, why not us so we are against him. We are on the strife and consternation and confrontation against him. On the day of judgment, we are the chosen people. God, we are the children of God and Allah will be on our side against Jibreel. Astaghfirullah. This is the clash. They know Prophet Muhammad is true. They know that is why they are bowing the seed. It is us who are doubting. It is us who are doubting. Trust me, Muslims. Jews know Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu because Allah says, Oh Muhammad Sallallahu they have known you more than their own sons. And you can see that in the Humfit Torah will Injil, even today's Torah and Injil, Allah says, 
every time an era Torah and Injil, you will never be able to eradicate the name of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu in any era. This is what it means. The fail, the verb which is used in this Arabic ayah of Quran that you will always find the name of Prophet mentioned in Torah and Injil. And this is not the subject. Prophet Muhammad has been mentioned by the proper noun in the book of these Jewish and Judeo-Christians. So, they know you. So they are doing this. They know this all. And they are living in the haze, presuming that we will be forgiven, even we do the strife and consternation against the last prophet. It's not needed, it's not required. We are the chosen and the closed children of Allah, God, Jehovah, Jehovah, and nothing will happen to Elohim. Nothing will happen to us on day of the judgment. They're living in a false hope with more false hopes of Antichrist Dajjal. So this is what they are doing. They're living in this mentality. And you want to talk to them? <laughs> you want to do, you know, conciliation? This is all haze. Because they are clever enough. They know how to make the difference between the occupied and the occupied territory. They are, they are the masters in these choice of word. Occupied territory or the occupied territory, quite different thing. Jew or the Jews, the quite the capital Jew is a quite different thing. They know it, but you don't know what's the difference. It's the concept, it's the ideology that we are better raised than you. We are better than you all. We can do whatever we want to do with you. We can use Book of Kabbalah, the black magic against you, with the help of those demons, with the help of the shayateen. May Allah protect us from the magic of Jews. You have no idea how the, how fierce and how you know dangerous the magic, the black magic Jews know. They learned from Harut and Marut from the city of Babylonia. Allah says, we surely send our two messengers or two uh, angels to test the people of Babylon and we will see that who will learn the magic and who will deny so many of them they learned the magic because it was a test from God Almighty the book of Kabbalah from where this Iraq Babylonia and they are learning this magic since then and they're doing on the people but Allah says if all Prophet says in the hadith if all of the world and shayateen wants want to hurt anyone and Allah does not want it, they cannot do it. If opposite, if all of these people pro want to protect that guy, Allah does not want, he will not be protected. It is our faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Otherwise their magic, you know, they, their magic is so intense that there has been a given the example, there has been given, uh, sorry, there has been an example given that yeah, they, their magic can cross the whole camel into the eye of a needle. That is the way they can do the magic, literally doing so strong magic on people. Illuminati free missionaries, missionaries, Illuminati, not him, the secret societies, what are their main agendas? This is their main agendas, people changing them and then, uh, you know, making this black magic into the world. May Allah protect us. So this was a message to you that these people, their mentality like that and now they want to expand and because they are just on the brink or on the verge, on the edge of the arrival of Masih Dajjal and they want to do anything. They will not tolerate any kind of resentment. No resentment will be tolerated. All intimidacy just get terrified by us. Then, then, because now they are in the stage, final stage of all this preparatory work they were doing. Now this is the time they have to eat the fruits. And if you try to become the hurdle, then you know what will happen to you. So they are just like uh, the man, you know, a person which just have one, you know, like blinkers like the animals, one side, that is, that we are the soul supreme. You see, when this whole political movement was started, we can divide it into three uh, eras. Started by, in the beginning, this colonialism, these colonies were made by French, Dutch, Italians, Germans, 
Canada, French says is ours. Huh? British, they say that America is ours. The, the other part is the, the French is ours. Italians say this is ours. Colonies, they made colonies. So once they made this, Australia was Holland colony before Holland's. People don't know this. So they made colonies, colonies. So they call it Britannica, Pax Britannica. Then this Pax Britannica, America got independence from the civil war, this American war between the France and all these people, they kicked them out. British were out from America, 1776. Jeffrey Thomas Jefferson declared the independence, this letter of declaration, and then all were kicked out. This was the start, especially after World War II, Pax Americana.